Hey folks, how y'all doing today? We're going to go ahead and we're going to, uh, while we're waiting for other things, we're going to go ahead and connect up the um, heating pads for the battery and the circuitry for it. So we're going to go ahead and discuss it. And first we're going to show, just like we did prior, we went ahead and we drilled with the 11 sixteenths little box going around. And then we went ahead and with a box knife and clipped and cleaned it up. And then we took a 5 8 uh, drill bit and for the hole here. And then we went ahead and installed it and from the behind and come from the forward. And it's a nice flush, flush service. Let's go ahead now and talk about how it's connected on the inside. Okay. First of all, we need to have where the thermistor, thermostat, the temperature gauge is connected inside of where the cells are, right over here. Then, of course, a couple, oh, maybe five, six, seven videos before, we went ahead and wrapped everything up right here and over here and over here where we wrapped it around and put our system into place. Uh, for our heating pads Okay, and then of course we went ahead and wired it up. We have one connecting up to here here and here And this is the junction for it all through to here From here we have it being connected up. So when we get and I hope battery evil Fred Is uh, listening. I hope we get benefited with a uh, another battery And when we do we'll be able to connect up the same kind of circuits over here which comes into play over here, which is also connected up, as you can see, the lamp, when the power turns on, and then it's coming to the relays. Now, from the power box here, we have it coming through to this system right here, being powered up, and we have two powers coming through with a 10-amp fuse, just like we have a 10-amp fuse right over here, and uh, it plugs in, and then, of course, when the relay clicks, it turns us on. We're going to go ahead and show you now how this thing works. What we've got here is we have a nice glass of ice water, and we're just going to dip the thermos thermistor in here and it should come down in temperature really quick when the best temperatures through a lot of research is 40 to 100 for the lifepo 4 battery cells so this is going to turn on and you can see it's also not using that many not that much amperage and then of course we'll be going through and it shows 3.1 3.2, 3.65 amps for all three of those working. Now you can see that it turned on and it should be warm up the battery and as the battery warms up, because this is, is in there, it quickly goes ahead and shuts off. We sure appreciate you. We sure appreciate you and um, we thank the folks that uh, help us with the projects. And uh, until next time, I hope you'll find this beneficial. And if you like it, please hit like and share. Thank you. You guys have an awesome day today.